everyone, Talisha here, also known as Creativity by T. Thank you so much for tuning in to the channel. Today is Sunday, May 21st, and my husband and the children and I just came back from a birthday party that was at the park over there. And since I am wearing one of my me maids, I thought I would stop by a little quiet spot and tell you what I am wearing. I am wearing Simplicity 8912. I made this after I made my first version of this for the Soul Maxi for Mother's Day challenge last year. I made that first version, which was the longer maxi version. Absolutely love it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And I decided to make another version. This version is a different view though. This is a shorter version. It just goes right above knees. It features a patch pocket and it also has a collar stand without the collar. And when I decided to go ahead and make this, I was planning my vacation Mime wardrobe. My, the family and I were going out to San Diego for vacation last year, and we were going on a whale and dolphin watching excursion. And I wanted to wear something that was themed, hence the anchors. <laughs> you know, I, I usually go on a cruise every summer, and we weren't able to do that so this reminded me of the cruise and so that's why I decided to pick this fabric that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I made this view so yeah that is what I am wearing and I will go ahead and show you what it looks like I hope you like it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and I will see you tomorrow on Monday have a happy day Welcome to the channel, Talisha here, also known as Creativity by T. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is Monday, May 23rd. So yes, we are 23 days into our Me Made May. And yesterday it was about 55 to 60 degrees. Today it is 60 degrees. And yesterday I had on a sleeveless dress that was actually short and I was super cold. So that was not going to happen today because again, it is 60 degrees here. And for me, that's a little chilly. So what I am wearing, what I decided to wear today is I have on some bootleg jeans that I purchased from Old Navy a while back. And I paired them with a top that I made that I have never shared on the channel. A while back, I was going through a top series and it was to fill the gaps in my wardrobe and I was going to make every single view in McCall's 7360. I made three of the views. The other two I didn't make because there were there were going to be like some wardrobe malfunctions based off of the fabric that I chose for those other views which I learned from the views that I made, okay? <laughs> but I made three of those views. I am going to do a review with all three of those views shown, um, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into one of them today, and that is what I'm wearing. So again, I am wearing Macaw 7360, and I am wearing View D, and I will go ahead and show you what that looks like.
everyone welcome to the channel Talisha here also known as creativity by T thank you for stopping by for another day of me made May today is Tuesday May 24th it is about 68 degrees outside but it's very nice it is not windy it's just still air and with maybe a little bit of a breeze and the sky is blue hardly any clouds the sun's out loving it loving it loving it so again it is the 24th of may and it's tuesday and i will tell you what i'm wearing so for today's outfit i have to go to a satellite campus on tuesdays and i have to drive a distance i have to get on the highway and drive for uh, maybe about 30 minutes so it's not too far but it's far enough so i woke up a little bit later than i should have this morning and I didn't prepare my clothes last night like I normally do. I try to prepare the night before so that I am not rushing in the morning and everything is just laid out because I also have to get the children ready. Well, me and my husband, we get them ready together. But I knew I was going to have to do it today because of something that he had to do earlier uh, than his normal time. So I didn't have my clothes prepared and I really didn't know what to wear and so I figured I would just wear some the work swag it was what we call it and what it is is basically anything that has the my employer's name on it we can wear and I put that with some slack so I just figured that would be the easiest thing for me to do but it's a t-shirt and I didn't want to be cold so in order for me to not be cold because it's always cold in these buildings I put on my wrap sweater or it could be considered a cardigan but on the package it is considered a jacket this is simplicity 9189 and i made this towards the beginning of march actually i may have made this at the the very last day of february or something i finished it but it was posted at the end of march and again this is simplicity 9189 it is a mrs wrap jacket and I uh, made this as part of the Five and Below series. It only required three pattern pieces and I made this out of French Terry that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Now your typical cardigans are pretty thin and flowy, but this French Terry is super thick and I really, really love it. Um, and it was expensive though. And so I had some a disappointing time while making this because even though it was only three pattern pieces, this the pattern instructions were terrible terrible and but I got it I got it I got it done and I love it um, but yeah it I, I have that memory of how terrible of an experience I had while making it so at one point I thought about taking this um, little flappy cape looking part off and just making it like a straight cardigan but I'm not going to be bothered with it and the reason why I was thinking about that is because the pattern does not tell you that you need to use a fabric that has the same texture and the same look on both the front and the back because this is the back side you can't really see it well here but this is the back side of the fabric and this is the front side because it just kind of flaps over now had I known that I would not have even made this pattern because I just don't like that I want it I just have issues with that also there is a back seam in the middle of this cape that is exposed it does not tell you that so I was a little disappointed with that too but what I did was I covered the seam with bias binding I had a paper that flew away I covered the seam with bias binding and um, then I just stitched it down flat so that it would look okay but yes I have been wearing this all day so this is my look they know that I have on the swag underneath because you can tell everyone knows what the swag is so I'll go ahead and let you see what it looks like Thank you. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Celicia, also known as Creativity by T. Welcome to day 25 of Me Made May. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of May, and it is 80 degrees outside with overcast, but it is it's nice out. Even though there's overcast, it is still nice outside. It was raining this morning, but it has ended so I am at the end of my work day but I wanted to come on here and quickly show you what I am wearing I am wearing a brand new make for the month of May yes I am this make I am so excited about I absolutely love how this dress turned out it took me almost two weeks to make it because there's a lot of steps it's a shirt dress and i made butterick 6702 so yes i absolutely absolutely love it i made view a um by the time you see this video the review would have just posted on the previous sunday i believe so if you have not checked this video out for the review of this pattern to see if I'm, the changes that I made and the likes and you know all those different things go ahead and check that video out because it's good y'all I just I just I love this dress especially after my last make being a fail that wedding dress mm. <laughs> I really needed this as a pick-me-up so yes absolutely excited about this dress and I am wearing my sandals that do not match and I know that but I had on some heels earlier and when I was walking the heel went into a crack and I twisted my ankle and almost fell down but I didn't fall but my ankle is still sore so I had to take those shoes off so excuse the Jesus sandals because like I said they don't really match they're not terrible but they don't really match so but yes that is what I am wearing my Butterick 6702 and I will let you see the full view So for this next look, I lost my vlog portion of the video. The file somehow got corrupted. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I am wearing um, and tell you at the same time. So I am wearing a two-piece set that I made. I made this vest by using McCall's 8030 and I made the pants by using Simplicity 1165. I purchased this fabric when I was in Los Angeles and I picked this up for about $1.99 or $2.99 a yard. I just know that I only paid $9 total to make this set. I really love it. I received many, many compliments when I wear this set. It goes over very well and I can also use it as separates. Um, so yeah, I think it's very, very nice. Both patterns are awesome to work with and I think it's worth picking both patterns up. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Talisha here, also known as Creativity by T. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is Friday, yay, let's celebrate. We've got the three day weekend going on. I'm super excited about it. We've got something really, really special planned for Sunday, which is the um, day before the holiday, so it's the 30th and I'm planning a surprise bachelorette party for my sister 
and I rented a cycle boat and there there's 14 seats available on this cycle boat so yes yeah, she knows I'm gonna pick her up but she has no clue what we're gonna be doing I've got food made drinks made or that will be made or whatever to take and we're gonna have a fun two hours on the water cycling and having a fun little party for her but anyway um, it is 66 degrees it is raining drizzling whatever um, so yes as we're speaking I am getting a little drizzles on me but I'm not getting soaked so I don't mind it it'll dry <laughs> um, but as far as what I'm wearing I am wearing the Suzanne top that was designed by Erin of Style Sew Me Patterns uh, she recently closed her business so it's no longer available but I did make this for the black History Pattern Designers Challenge that uh, Natita of So Natural Day puts on every year. Um, so yes, the top, the Suzanne top is my featured top. I get cold and it is short sleeves, so I did pair it with my Nikki blazer that was also designed by Erin of Style Sew Me Patterns. But I'm not featuring the Nikki blazer because I already did. I wore that on day two of Me Made May. So the Suzanne top and I paired that with my jeans boot cut jeans because like I said it's a little chilly today and today is also Friday so here at work we get to dress down on Friday so this is this is my dress down so yeah that is what I'm wearing it's pretty comfortable um, as far as the jeans most of my jeans are high-waisted but of course that button is there the fly is there and I just don't like that look which is why I want to make like high-waisted trousers that don't have the front fly or the button so I am really looking forward to getting my high-waisted trousers pattern made up and see how that works out so that I can make several pair but anyway yep this is what I am wearing everything is by style so me patterns and I will go ahead and show you what that looks like Hello everyone, Talisha here, also known as Creativity by T. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Today is Saturday, May 28th, and I am at the track um, with the boys because that's what we do on Saturdays. However, they got a little distracted and decided that they want to play at the playground. So we have left the track area and we are now at the slide. <laughs> But that's okay because they're little, they're only little ones, so I'm okay with that. So today's temperature is going to be in the 80s. We have beautiful blue skies, no clouds, sunshine. I'm here for that. <laughs> so for today, what I am wearing. I am wearing Simplicity 9136. This is my lemon dress, my very first lemon dress. And this is the dress that kicked off the Fruity Fashion Collection because I absolutely loved how I looked and felt in these fruity fabrics, okay? This is, like I said, this is the very first one. <clears throat> so from that point, I just went crazy and started buying all types of fruity fabrics, and yeah. So um, this dress features a raglan sleeve and it has a drop waist on here and it has a gathered waistline with a zipper in the back and also pockets so yeah it's a very comfortable dress to wear uh, you can make it casual or you can dress it up I feel like it's a little bit more on the casual side which is why I like it because I am a dress person I wear dresses all the time and this type of dress this style of dress is one that you can wear where you don't have to feel overly dressed when you're not going for that look so this is definitely a great pattern to get and I will go ahead and let you see what it looks like.
today is Sunday the 29th of May and my younger sister she's getting married so I rented a cycle boat and I have about 12 of her friends coming and we're gonna have a little bachelor party on the cycle boat so I just thought I would share with you a little bit of that and tell you what I am wearing hey hey hey, hey. what day is it Sunday the 29th yeah. <laughs> having a little din din with my sissies yes. yay She's in the won't be single for very long. She's no, getting no. married. I'm so excited. Dun, 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 dun. We'll get our little okay, private. Uh, our little on, private. Who is that, Shauna? that I made last summer. It was either in May, June, or July. But I made this sunflower dress to wear to the sunflower garden and take photos in because I always wanted to do that. And I accomplished that and I absolutely love this dress and I love it just as much now as I did back in the summer. It's just a really, really nice sun dress. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing and I will go ahead and show you what it looks like. I hope you had a great Memorial Day. I did. We are out with the family having a really, really good time. Today, of course, <laughs> is Monday, Memorial Day, and it is the 30th of May, the very last day of Me Made May. So I came on here to tell you what I am wearing and what to expect next with the whole Me Made May. So first of all, I'll tell you what to expect. Um, I know this is the last day of Me Made May. But what I'm going to do is follow up with the whole Me Made May and kind of go over my thoughts and reflections and things like that. So that I'll do that for a midweek video coming soon. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. But I will go ahead and tell you what I am wearing for this holiday. I am wearing a make that I made in 2017. And this is Simplicity 8383. I made this for a it was a challenge that Renata of the Twilight Stitcher had put on and I think it was called Sew Your Flag um, I can't re remember but what I will do is put the challenge name inside of the screen so that you can search it on Instagram if you would like to know more about it but it was basically for you to sew the colors of your flag and it was hosted around the 4th of July so I had purchased this fabric from fabric.com and it is a Liverpool knit and it has the majority of well and it has the flat colors in there red white and blue but there is like some orange in there like this is orange here and this is a cold shoulder top I love cold shoulder tops and so um, because of that, <laughs> this kind of reminded me of that. And so I will be making a cold shoulder shirt dress soon. Yes, because I, I just have to have it. But anyway, <laughs> this is Simplicity 8383. That was the reason why I made it. It was for that challenge. And I loved it then. I love it now still. And it fits because it's a, a tunic. It's a tunic that has a width to it. You know, it's very roomy. And so... Um, I, like I said, I made it in 2017 and I wore it as a dress, but with me, you know, being bigger or whatever, that's not smart because it's pretty high up. But I have paired this with my leggings. I made these leggings 
back in 2017 as well. They are not drafted well at all. They're baggy at the ankle. And I thought I self-drafted these, but I did not. It kind of came back to me after I wore these the first time in May. And when I talked about it, I used the pattern and it was not good. It did not fit at all. I tried to take it in, you know, at the seams, but I just really wasn't good at that then. So I'm still wearing them. I could fix them, but it's really not even the right type of fabric for leggings. Like I need to make one in like a jersey, a white jersey, which I do have some. So I can make some to replace these. But until I replace them, I'm just going to keep wearing these because <laughs> I mean, I don't really care. They're leggings. And a lot of times I wear my leggings to keep me warm underneath dresses. So yeah, that is what I am wearing. And I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like.